much. Flat Media Awards, how are you feeling tonight? New York City, how are you feeling tonight? Oh yeah, I am so proud to stand alongside GLAD and all of you tonight to accelerate acceptance. I'm only, not only for the LGBTQ community, but for across all communities, from Baltimore to Ferguson, to right here in New York City, we cannot and will not stand for violence or harassment against people of color. And although trans people are more visible than ever, visibility is only one part of the equation. We must still fight for LGBTQ rights in the workplace, for an end to policies that criminalize trans folks for walking down the street or using the bathroom, for protection from violence that devastates LGBTQ people and trans women, particularly trans women of color, in horrific numbers. Now, I'm here to introduce an innovative leader, an extraordinary wife and mother, and another Time Magazine cover icon, GLAD President and CEO, Sarah Kate Ellis. Not yet, not yet. I gotta tell you a little bit more about this, this, this amazing president. She, she, oh yeah. She's a modern force and she fights like hell for what she believes in. In her first year on the job, Sarah Kate has reimagined GLAD's vision and brought the organization to new heights. Due to her forceful negotiation, in 2015, New York's St. Patrick's Day Parade had an LGBT group march under its own banner for the first time in its 250-year history. Oh, yeah. She pressured the IOC to add more inclusive protections to the Olympic Charter, worked with Facebook to expand users' gender options to make the site safer and more welcoming, and took TLC to task for its dangerous show, My Husband's Not Gay. Sarah Kate redoubled GLAD's long-standing commitment to trans issues, appointing a director of transgender media. And she recently unveiled a first-of-its-kind report about LGBT acceptance in America that's changing the conversation about LGBTQ people in this country. And that's just what she's doing on the record. Sarah Kate has, an even, has even bigger plans for the years ahead. Now, it is my distinct honor to introduce to you GLAD's fearless and inspiring leader, President and CEO, Sarah Kate Ellis. Thank you, Laverne. You're amazing. Let's take a look at those covers that Laverne was talking about, those iconic covers. Look at Laverne. She's changing the world for the better. And then you can look at my cover. I'm making out with my wife. You know, my mom always wanted to see me on the cover of Time magazine. I'm not sure that's what she had in mind. But happy Mother's Day, Mom. <laughs> so I have to ask this room, it's my job as the CEO of GLAAD, are we ready for the Supreme Court ruling? Come on. This is big, people. This is huge. In fact, last week I was on a plane. Uh, seems like I'm always on a plane. I was sitting next to this woman, and her name's Beth, and she's lovely, and we start chatting. And she asks me what I do. I tell her, and she lights up. And with this brimming enthusiasm, she says, my nephew's gay. He's getting married in July. I'm going to the wedding. <laughs> what an amazing time we're living in, isn't it? Yes. It is. There's no question the moment we are in is great. Yet with all the champagne chilling and ready to pop, you would think I would be sleeping like a baby at night. But I'm up late in the night, and I'm deeply concerned because there's a gap between our policy advancements and the hearts and minds in America. 
Beth's nephew is getting married, and that's wonderful. But on Tuesday night, just four nights ago, 30 blocks from where we're sitting tonight, a young gay couple was severely beaten at a restaurant in the heart of Chelsea, Chelsea, New York. That's the gap between equality and acceptance. Bruce Jenner comes out to 20 million viewers, and that's amazing. But seven trans women have already been murdered this year. That's the gap. For every win in Indiana, we have 85 more anti-LGBT bills pending. We only have 50 states in this country. 85 bills. That's the gap I'm talking about. For every fully realized portrayal of LGBT youth on ABC Family or MTV, we've got a disproportionate amount of LGBT youth who are homeless, 40%. That's the gap between equality and acceptance. So to better understand this gap, GLAD commissioned a Harris poll to measure how Americans really feel about the LGBT people community. We discovered that beneath our legislative progress lies a dangerous layer of discomfort and discrimination. Almost 50% of Americans said that they are very uncomfortable with LGBT people. In fact, many Americans who said they are in favor of marriage equality also say that they are uncomfortable just seeing a gay co-worker's wedding picture. Think about that. While many are for equal rights and protections, they don't want to see us holding hands, and they don't want to see our wedding pictures. I ask you how it is in this day and age that half of Americans are uncomfortable bringing a child to a same-sex wedding, or that one in five allies, our allies, say they're uncomfortable going to that same wedding. How can it be that 105 million people don't want their child having a play date at a same-sex household? The numbers are even worse for our transgender brothers and sisters. The discomfort levels rise by 40%. All of these numbers do not add up to equality. These numbers are a continuation of us being less than. Despite the historic legal gains for marriage equality, we still live in a country where we cannot fully be ourselves or share our love. Let me be very clear about this. You cannot legislate acceptance. That's why GLAD's call to action is to accelerate acceptance because we know that laws alone do not end discrimination. People end discrimination. GLAD is on the ground now at work accelerating acceptance through our critical programs globally with youth in faith communities in the South and on playing fields. We've got our work cut out for us. There are far, there are many, there are far too many who think our work is done but the hard evidence proves that the gap between acceptance, that the gap, in, uh, that the gap to full acceptance cannot be ignored. We still get beaten up for holding hands, even in states that we can legally marry. We still get fired from our jobs because of who we are. And suicides among our youth are a national disgrace. This is not equa what equality feels like. We have to move faster. Without acceptance, the LGBT community is more than unequal. We are unsafe. Achieving, <laughs> thank you. Achieving full acceptance is my commitment to you, and I know it's why you're here tonight. The work ahead, my friends, is uncharted and unscripted. While GLAD's research reveals an uncomfortable America, we have the best team and programs to enlighten, educate, and move public opinion. The LGBT community must take on a new frontier, 
from the promise of equality to the reality of acceptance. Acceptance must not be measured in years, but it must be measured in every headline we write, every story we tell, every hand we hold, every play date we have, and every life we save. The way I see it, guys, acceptance can't come quick enough. Thank you. Thank you.